Chinese Communist Party hypes up an invasion of Taiwan by saying Taiwanese are rushing to buy wartime supplies. Then Chinese people started to panic buy. And things got out of hand. Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Surfshark. You should be using a VPN like Surfshark to protect yourself whenever you go online. So, 2022 is coming up, and it's a very important year, because Xi Jinping is going to be <laughs> re-elected. But in order to stay in power, Xi needs to maintain his image as the most bestest leader of China. And that includes making people believe he'll keep true to his promise to pursue reunification with Taiwan by peaceful means. Even if to do that, he has to change the definition of peace to include sending peacekeeping troops to invade from the air and from the sea. It's like you got that itch on one part of your back that's so hard to get to, but the only way you can scratch it is to invade Taiwan. The propaganda that Taiwan will soon be unified with the mainland is so pervasive in China that many Chinese people just take it as a given. And that leads to things like this trending article, which has now been removed by the author. It's called How to Buy a House in Taiwan Province After Reunification. It talks about reunification as if it's just a fact that China will succeed and other world powers won't defend Taiwan. And then there's the new viral song, Go to Taiwan in 2035. was almost too viral. Who's going to tell them that they've basically been making the same song ever since 1959? Although they don't use the word liberate anymore, since an authoritarian country liberating a democracy seems a bit weird. But reunification? That sounds much better. Despite the inconvenient fact that Taiwan was never under the control of the Chinese Communist Party, that's why in Chinese they just call it unification. Chinese state-run media pushed the idea that taking over Taiwan in the near future is a given. A few weeks ago, the top trending topic on Chinese social media platform Weibo reads, Hashtag Taiwanese begin to stock up on supplies. A state-run media called China News Service reported that statistics show 42.6% of Taiwanese expressed concern about a war between the two sides of the strait. Some people in Taiwan are even worried about a war and have begun panic buying supplies. This is a type of psychological warfare. It gives the idea that Taiwan is scared of China's almighty greatness. Patriotic Chinese netizens in the comments couldn't wait to celebrate. Why bother? The invasion will be over and done in one night's time. They ought to first embroider our red flag. Practice singing our national anthem. The PLA won't harm nationalists. If you love our nation, you have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I think they have plenty to be afraid of. Unfortunately for people who care about accuracy, the pictures of crowded stores in Taiwan had nothing to do with Taiwanese people buying wartime supplies. They were just folks visiting Costco on the weekends to prepare for the holidays and spend their coronavirus stimulus money. Of course it was Costco. But while this trending topic was an ego stroke for Chinese nationalism, it backfired. Big time. Because Chinese people saw it and actually began panic buying. I'll explain more after the break. Welcome back. On November 1st, China's Ministry of Commerce released a statement about ensuring supply and stabilizing prices for the seasons to come. Of course they want to stabilize prices. China is facing massive inflation spikes, like the 157% increase in spinach prices due to weather and scarce resources. 
To make things more cryptic, in the following days, local administrations, like the Emergency Management Department of Jiangsu Province, distributed a recommended list of family emergency material reserves. Like I said earlier, people were convinced by Chinese media that a Taiwan invasion is around the corner. But then, they put two and two together. People began to think, if people in Taiwan are stocking up on wartime supplies, maybe I should too. And then came the real panic buying in mainland China. Crowds of people stuffed shoulder to shoulder, pushing and shoving to buy basic foods like rice, flour, and oil. Wow, this makes Walmart on Black Friday look like a calm, orderly procession. People were falling left and right. And yes, fights broke out in the supermarkets. Stores were wiped clean by shoppers. Are these people all buying entire pigs? I've never seen anything like this before. But buying a whole pig could seem restrained when compared to other reports. Some people were reported to have bought 600 kilograms of rice at a single trip to the store. For Americans out there, that's more than 1,300 pounds of rice. Why would one person buy 1,300 pounds of rice? Oh right, to jack up the price and resell it. Creating exactly the type of price inflation Chinese state media were trying to avoid. So what is the Chinese Communist Party doing to solve the problem they created? They're trying to take it all back, calling everything rumors and fabricated news. In the end, they literally said, don't read too much into it. Look, CCP, every time you make a mistake, you can't just hit Control Z. You can only control people who disagree. And now the Chinese Communist Party is blaming people for listening to the propaganda they'd been pushing in state-run media. This feels like an abusive relationship. But the good news is, there's another crisis that will make people forget how badly they screwed up the Taiwan panic buying stuff. China has reported its highest number of new COVID-19 cases in almost three months. If you can't solve an existing crisis, just create a new one. And this episode has been sponsored by Surfshark. Because if you're in a place where it's hard to access true information, you need a VPN like Surfshark. And Surfshark protects you when you go online, whether you're in an authoritarian country like China or a free country like Taiwan. Surfshark has uncrackable encryption and the most secure VPN protocols. And with IP and DNS leak protection, neither the government nor your internet service provider can find where you're really connecting from. And Surfshark doesn't keep logs of what you do online. That's why using a VPN like Surfshark is a key part of protecting yourself whenever you go online. So use Surfshark. And another great feature is you can connect as many devices as you want with just one Surfshark account. So try it now. Surfshark has a special Black Friday deal that includes 83% off a two-year plan plus four extra months for free. Go to surfshark.com slash uncensored and use the code uncensored to get their deal that includes four extra months for free. Use the link in the description below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.